morning or good evening or whatever time of day it is where you are. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I say good morning, I never say good morning, I want to say hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot sale haul video. There is only one more car boot sale before Christmas now. They're having a, they're having one on Christmas Eve, which is weird because they don't normally have one if it comes that close to Christmas. They're not having one New Year's Eve. So there'll be one more after this one and then there'll be a break of a week. The pickings are still, still on the small side. I didn't get an empty bag, bear with. Back. Yeah, still small pickings. But, as we know, I have a cupboard full of unlisted stock. I haven't done any listing. I have been shocking regarding this. I haven't done any listing for three or four weeks that's really bad and come the new year it has to be new year new me and i have to get my entire life sorted out i have to sort out my diet i have to sort out my eve i have to sort out my youtube i have to sort out my finances everything basically i have to do a great reset on myself and go back to the beginning and try and try and be a proper adult get some ebay listing done so what did i get today for the new me to work on in the new year Firstly, I've got a box of free stuff. So this is the chap who I've been buying the jewellery off in bits and bobs and he said to me this morning, oh, you can have all this for nothing. I'm, I'm packing up and going home. So there's a cut glass vase. This is not the kind of thing that I normally buy or sell, but it is a cut glass vase. So there we go. That was for now. I won't chuck it in there, loose, eh? I think it has a chip. It has a chip. Ho-hum. Like I said, it was free. There is a rubbishy little brass cup. It's not even brass. It's... I don't know what it is, it's, it's rubbish. <laughs> There's a strange little, strange little wire car with a, with a necklace all wrapped up in it. Hang on. Strange little wire car, look. This, this is the kind of thing that will just go back in the charity shop. Somebody may want it. And there are a couple of felt brooches. So there's a, a knitted pop, poppy and a felt rose brooch there. And I think this is, the, I think these daffodils are and some junky daffodils nothing very exciting there there's an assisi painted plaque i don't know if it's focusing or not so that would be the monastery at assisi i think which would be where st francis popped out from where st francis of assisi that might be worth looking up. There's a very, very, very dreadful homemade brooch that's been made out of buttons or whatever. There's a random brooch in a box. Now I had Lex with me this morning, so I already know that none of this is exciting because Lex has already had a look through. But there's a random boxed brooch. Lex has gone home now. And then there are several sets of cufflinks. So these ones are beer tankards. I don't think you can see them properly. But they're beer tank cards. Tank hard, tank hard. That was very Bristolian. This is a set of cufflinks and a tie pin with an E on it, and then a random collar stud that doesn't go with the set that was just randomly in the box. So those are by Swank. And a random collar stud with no. What does it say on there? Sophos. Sophos collar stud. There's a little spoon. It is an assortment of randomness and then just some junk jewellery. There was a little pair of earrings in there and quite a few random individual cufflinks and pin badges. But nothing, a couple of individual earrings, nothing at all of any value whatsoever. So it will all just get added into another bag of um, craft jewellery that I sell. There's another pair of cufflinks there. The case the velour in there, can you see the velour is completely crumbled, it's dust. <laughs> State of it. This was a Stratton. They make, they're compacts. Oh. They make ladies mirrored compacts and they're quite collectible, but um, but this is, yeah, the the inside of this is dissolved completely. That's Stratton cufflinks and type in. So the cufflinks will probably go on as a job lot together, as Lex suggested, and then the other stuff will get thrown into a craft lot. There really isn't anything here. That's possibly a silver earring, but there's only one of those, I think. Oh, 
does, does anybody does anybody particular oh no, I was gonna say there's a set of spider earrings, but I've only found one. Yeah, I thought I'd find a pair of spider earrings, but there's only one. Does anybody want one spider hanging from their logo? Probably not. So yeah, a little box of nonsense, but it was free, and I just thought, you know, if he's giving it away free, it can go into one of those job lots. Oh my lordy, I'm dropping everything! I am extremely tired. We had a late night last night. You know, anything past nine o'clock is late night for me. But we were up late last night. Um, we didn't get to sleep until about one o'clock and then the alarm went off at seven and off we went again. So I'm very, very tired. So yeah, random box of uh, free rubbish. The nicest thing about that is probably the Tupperware. It's a very nice Tupperware box. In good condition. It needs a clean. <laughs> Those can go in the charity bag. Um, also mixed in with this is some stuff from the charity shops yesterday so that's going to come through this is this was from the St Peter's Hospice it is a Titanius Star Tarot cards and book that was 4 .99 and prices vary on it but it you know it's, it has resale value uh, from the carpet that was from Steve's store so we'll do that all in one go in a minute from the charity shop yesterday a little Radley I think it's a makeup bag rather than a purse judging by the there's no credit card slots in this so I would say it's a makeup bag um, and that was £3.50 also from the charity shop yesterday they had reduced their Christmas stuff to half price so I've got a Raymond Briggs the Snowman Port Mirian Myrian Murian money box that was down to 375 from 750 I wouldn't have paid 750 but I didn't mind paying 375 but it's not a massive amount of resale in it Lex found me a Disney mug for two pounds. It's a Mickey, uh, Minnie Mouse mug. That was two quid. Down from four. Again, I wouldn't have paid four. And I picked up this Disney Snugglets, and this is Snow White, um, and these sell for about a tenner. It was one pound fifty. Is that all from the charity? I think that might be all from the charity shop. So back to the car boot this morning. I got three comforters for thirty p each. A George Pink Teddy one. This one I think is a Poundland. Pure Baby. I'm pretty sure that's Poundland or Home Bargains or B&M, one of those. And this one is two at Sainsbury's. 30p each on those. £1.50 for this coffee cup, which I thought Natalie might want for her nan on her dad's side. Because it's one of those meaty you bears ones. And then she said, oh, I bought one of those the other day. So that was £1.50 I didn't need to spend. I grabbed these. There were four of these in the pack and they only wanted a pound. And they are the little individual containers. I have one of these. I've got it here to show you. Mine is very similar. Mine came, I bought this off Amazon. I labelled it myself. And it is labelled inside with all the names of the various tablets. This lives in my handbag. So I carry Paracetamol, Ibuprofen, Rennies, Imodium, Flu Plus, Dulcolax, Codeine and Cetirizine for hay fever. I carry that with me and it is endlessly useful endlessly useful somebody always wants something sometimes it's me sometimes it's tammy sometimes it's nat but somebody is always going have you got any paracetamol have you got any this have you got any that and i have this has been the best tight it was a tiny investment it cost i think this one cost five quid from amazon and i labeled it myself like i said it has been a tiny investment and worth every penny because of how useful it is to have that it's fairly secure it's in my handbag it saves all those little packets of tablets rolling around and sometimes you don't know what's what so when i saw these there's four of these in the pack and they are the same thing so they open up and inside these these have more compartments than mine i think it has mine has two large and six medium and this has four medium and six small so more compartments in there i just every because I've got one of these. Tammy's got one. I made one for Tamsin. I think Nat's got one. 
everyone who's seen one has gone oh my god that's really useful i want one of them and so i've made one for them and so when i saw that there were a pack of four of these for a pound somebody else is bound to want one at some point so i grabbed them <laughs> this has been a public service announcement that is useful to have something to carry your tablets around in especially when you reach a certain age one pound for a Danielle Steele sealed trilogy book set. This is the Danielle Steele collection, Indulge Yourself with the World's number one best selling romance author, and it contains Secrets, Thurston House, and Zoya. I think they are three standalone books. I don't think they are a set of three in a trilogy, as I just said. So one pound for that and that. That was a pound together. That is a Statler pencil sharpener, and I needed one of these for my eye pencil, for my eyeliner. I've been needing a new pencil sharpener for ages. Mine went missing a long time ago. And then from Steve, I paid £8 for this mug, which says on it, UNT. It says UNT. That's the only thing that's printed on there, UNT. But the shape of the handle makes that into another word, and it is a Christmas gift. Hello? somebody came in or went out it is a christmas gift for someone so that was in with my eight quid also in with my eight quid were three carrick craft carrigaline county cork ireland matching egg cups three of those that was in with my eight quid also in with my eight quid was This Lord of the Rings audio cassettes. Now I've sold this before in the past. The price has gone up since I sold it last. I did last time I had it, it was just in the box like this. I didn't have the cardboard sleeve. So it is a set of special issue audio cassettes with a oh dear. I am so chucking everything on the floor today. With a little explanation leaflet and a certificate of authenticity. And this has got Somebody has cut these out of somewhere in 1987. Look, they've got 1987 written on them in biro. And it tells you... It tells you the details of who reads what. And somebody's cut that out and added that in there. So that's quite interesting. I think I'll leave that in. So, yeah, so that was in with my eight quid. Like I said, I've sold one of these before. They sell for about £20 now. And then also my eight quid, this is the bit that should have made it an amazing deal today. However, there it's not quite as great as it looks. This is an Emma Bridgewater Child's tea set. This is the polka dot design child's tea set. And it is complete. There are four cups, four saucers, four plates. There are my saucers and plates, look. Four of each of those. There are four cups, as I said. There's a milk jug. There are four spoons. There's a teapot and a sugar bowl. However out of the set and I did know that if there were some of these things had been repaired when I picked up although I didn't realize how many out of the set two of the cups have been broken and repaired you have to play with these quite heavily to break them you know two have been broken and repaired one has been broken and not repaired just cracked the sugar bowl has had a piece broken off and that's been repaired the spoons are fine the milk jug has been repaired and the teapot itself has been repaired if this was in good condition, no repairs, and had its original box, these sell for 80 quid. 80 quid. I don't know what I'll get for it in this condition. I have no idea. I may put it on an auction because I don't know what to ask for it because of how many pieces have been repaired. It'll be a nice thing for somebody to maybe have and put on display, but it's not it's not in its best condition, is it? So it was one of those things where I went, oh, oh 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 these things happen so i don't know how excited to be about that because it should have been a really really good pickup and it's not not quite what it was going to be i paid one pound for this harry potter room of requirement it's got a three pound sticker on the back so obviously i had more of a deal than i realized this is also for a christmas present which is why i'm cutting that price off the back Room of Requirement metal wall sign. I thought Tammy could have that for her loo, since we call that the Room of, Requ the room of Requirement. 
I paid two pounds for a moleskin 2024 weekly and monthly life planner and it is sealed now i am denied about whether i wanted it for myself and to be sure whether i want it for myself i need to open it and once i open it i reduce the value so i'm going to see if i can find it online and have a flick through online and see if i want to open it and keep it for myself i am a person who believes that a planner will change my life and then never uses the planner unfortunately i've had so many planners and never used them so sealed i can probably sell it for 10 or 12 quid and i paid two I paid a pound for a plate. Why did I buy a simple, ordinary china plate, you may ask, and why did I pay a pound for it? I paid a pound for it because it was the only bloody plate I could find at the car boot sale that wasn't chipped. And why do I want it? Because I'm, on Christmas Day, we send a dinner down to um, somebody who lives alone. Don't, they don't want to come out for Christmas. They're invited for Christmas, but they don't want to come out for Christmas. And so we send a dinner down to them so that they get a Christmas dinner. But every year, I don't get the plate back. <laughs> so I'm kind of running out of my own plates that match my, my dinner set now so I went and bought a, a literally a, a plate that I didn't need replacing and finally this probably is the best pickup of the day it would have been that tea set but this probably is the best pickup of the day it is Magic the Gathering Ixalan Ixalan so it is the art of Magic the Gathering hardback and it is sealed I paid £3 for it and they sell for about £25. So that is the pickup of the day. And that is the haul and all of the haul. I'm done. As I said, there will be one next week because there is a car boot Christmas Eve, but then there'll be a gap the week after that. And then in the new year, I really, 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 really need to get some bloody listing done. At the moment, I can't even get to my death pile, which is a handy excuse because the Christmas presents and stuff are in the way. So that's a handy excuse for me not to do any work, but I can't carry on trotting out handy excuses. I do actually need to do some work. Thank you for joining me for this one. As always, if you've seen anything in this video that floats your boat, drop me a line on the email address in the description box below, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.